Hey everybody, welcome to Josh Delario's Musical Escapades. My name is Josh Delario, your host, and today I just have a quick message for you guys. Uh, I just want to just want to encourage you all that when everything opens up, when all these concert halls and bars and pubs finally open up and the threat of this virus is kind of lifted, um, don't be afraid to go back to having concerts again. Now, I'm sure some of you guys are probably thinking, well, uh, if somebody with the coronavirus comes to the concert and gets everybody sick, then I'm going to be the one responsible for, for getting everybody sick. And I, I understand that, that may happen. However, it's very unlikely that something like that will probably happen. And I think even if a lot of people do get sick at a concert, most of the audiences that most musicians attract are pretty young. And the virus really hasn't affected a lot of young people in the same way that it has affected older people. Most younger people have not died from it. So case in point, an example from my life, I guess, um, the state of Tennessee, where I live, uh, opened up a lot of businesses this past week. And, um, you know, I said to myself, you know, obviously I don't necessarily need everybody to start going out. That doesn't mean that everybody's got to start going out, but somebody's got to be first. And I said to myself, I might as well be that person. So I took my liberties and I went out and went for a walk and out to a, re out to a restaurant to eat. And I dined in for the first time in probably a good couple months. And obviously, as you see me here, I haven't had any issues. I have, I've been fine. You know, I haven't really had any sort of crazy things happen to me. So I think that'll be pretty similar with musicians. Like, I don't think that everybody has to get out right away, but there's got to be somebody who's going to be first. And I know that's probably going to be really hard on that musician. There's probably going to be a lot of pressure on that person or that group. But at the same time, if that musician or band can pull it off and not adversely affect a lot of people, then I think a lot of other bands and musicians will start following and doing a lot of similar things until we get back into a situation where pretty much everything is normal again. Now, of course, don't get me wrong, I'm not advocating for you guys to go into the middle of the big cities where it's been most dense and the highest rates of coronavirus have happened. You're probably not going to have good success going to those places, but this may actually be an opportunity to try to find some places in the countryside where you can connect with fans who might not otherwise get to see you. Perhaps for them, they may not have adequate transportation uh, to get to the cities, or they may just not want to drive a couple hours into the city to go out and see you. Um, <clears throat> so you might be able to find some more places that are in rural towns where you could have a successful show um, where it's not as, not quite as populated, uh, maybe a smaller audience, and you can still do social distancing and all that sort of stuff, but perhaps you just don't have the big shows quite yet. And that first step doesn't have to be a big step, uh, it just has to be taken. You know, it, it just you just have to get out and do a concert and make that concert for, I don't even know, like eight people even. It doesn't really matter how big the number is. But I think the key is to just take that first step and then from there you can look into what you've done and see if there's anything that needs to be changed or improved upon or anything like that. But obviously it's just take that action of taking that first step with all the risk and with all the the hesitancy that you might have and just going on and getting it done anyways. And one of the things that I will tell you guys is the first opportunity that I can get to get to another concert at this point, I'm going to try to take it. Really, I just want to be there to support whoever I can, uh, whoever comes by here in Knoxville or Nashville or Asheville or somewhere like that. So if you guys are having concerts, you can count on me being there. Uh, the first opportunity that I can get out to see you. And uh, I want to make sure I say that because you guys might also be afraid that some people might not show up for the whole idea of their fear for the virus getting out and that sort of stuff. Um, which again, I understand. I, I don't blame those people. Um, but, you know, I, I'm going to try to get out because I guess I can say that I haven't really uh, had too much fear of the virus in, in that sense because... I don't feel like it's going to adverse me, adversely affect me all that much, and I'm not around a lot of people, so it's it, it, it doesn't really make a whole big difference in my life to have it. So that's all I had to say to you guys. Um, thank you all for watching, and um, I'd be, again, just super excited to get out and listen to you guys and see how everything's going with you when you come around here in Knoxville um, and all that sort of stuff, so I'd be super excited. 
Um, also, uh, as always, if you guys have any music that you want me to look into and try to feature here on the show, you can always send it to me here. Um, or if it's somebody that you like, you think their music's awesome and you want it to be featured here, just send it to me here at joshdelariusmusicalescapades at gmail.com. Uh, or you can message me on Facebook, facebook.com slash joshdmusicalescapades. Uh, or you can throw it in the comments below. And uh, one of those three ways, if you get it to me, I'll go ahead and listen to it, and it may be featured here in a future episode. Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, go make great music, everybody.